Now, News 3 Sports with Adam Winkler. As the NFL preseason comes to an end Thursday, this is the peak week for fantasy football drafts. And as your friendly neighborhood sports fella, I'm here to deliver one piece of advice about one key player when it comes to fantasy football. That player is you. The tip, nobody cares about your fantasy football team except you. Now, don't get me wrong, the NFL is king in this country and fantasy is a huge deal. Billion dollar industry. In fact, we just might drop some fantasy football nuggets on this show as the season goes on. But folks, it's make-believe, quite literally. It's called fantasy football. Your success is based on the weekly three-hour performance of adult males whom you likely haven't met and probably never will. And you have no control over how those NFL guys on your roster will play. And neither do the millions of other people who claim the very same players on their team in their league. Trust me, your imaginary squad made up of real-life humans that's about as cutting edge as the decision to serve buffalo wings at a Super Bowl party. So when you feel compelled to post your fantasy draft results on social media, please remember, your friends enjoy seeing you upload photos of your kids on their first day of school because those are your kids. Des Bryant, Tom Brady, Cam Newton, not your kids. But Wink, I'm in a big money league and my bank account can benefit from a solid draft. Oh, so if you can make money off it, we should care? Well, if that's the case, why don't people live tweet as they file their taxes every April? I mean, you'll post about claiming Ben Roethlisberger as your own. Why not tell us about claiming that student loan interest as your own? Because it doesn't matter to anyone outside of your household. Look, I don't hate fantasy football. In fact, I'm in two different leagues myself, and it's great. But you don't care about Wink's punt muffers. And I know that. If football, a real-life thing, is the ultimate team sport, then fantasy football, the opposite of real life, needs to be the adverse of a team sport. Let's make it a me sport. Be an individual. Keep your squad all to yourself. You might not thank me later, but your friends and coworkers just might. At least until it's time for March Madness when nobody else other than you will care about your bracket. So Kurt, Bev, it's kind of like Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club was don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> I guess but I'm kind of thinking, though, that I think the punt muffers, that has a ring to it, Wink. And I think, uh, you yeah, know, Norfolk is, looking, Norfolk is looking for a team. I mean, the Norfolk same. punt muffers. I, I, got, I got some sponsorship deals in mind. <laughs> oh, I mean, let's put our brains together. Let's not. Thanks, Wink. Yeah.